Hi guys, uh, a lot of people want to know if you can use an Amazon Fire Stick on a desktop monitor. And the answer is yes. If you have one that has built-in speakers, okay? Without speakers, you're just wasting your time. You'll get video, but you won't get no audio. And uh, preferably if you got one with two HDMI inputs. You can use one input, but uh, then you're constantly plugging in and unplugging, you know, and that can that can sort of ruin your monitor after a while. Okay, so this is a this is the remote, Amazon Fire Stick remote. There's a logo, just so uh, you know, I, you know it's Amazon. Now the volume control won't work on my monitor. Okay, maybe on a uh, more expensive monitor that you can sync sync a uh, what you call it to it, a remote to it. All right, then then it might work. Now this also has a Alexa voice command, so, and for power, you don't have to put the power into a, a power strip or anything, I just put the power in, the USB power thing into my desktop right here. Uh, speakers on my monitor sort of suck, so I uh, hook up a mini soundbar and it works great. So, I got this thing all hooked up, let's see what it looks like on a computer monitor. Okay, there you go. Let's uh, imagine that's a screensaver or some crap like that. So let's go to the home screen. Oops, using the wrong remote. Sorry, my, my fault, my fault. There you go. And there's your home screen. So let's see how fast something uh, loads up here. See how fast Netflix loads up. It loaded up pretty quick. Okay. Go back to the home screen. And let's see how videos look. All right, now I can't show you a video from Netflix or something like that because it's copywritten. All right, how do I go back here? But I can't show you a YouTube video. Let's go into YouTube. Okay, so I can show you something that isn't copywritten. So of course I'll uh, show you one of my videos, all right? Hope you don't mind. Uh, this is from the game Diablo 3, which by the way is a great game. All right, and you can see there's no buffering or anything like that, and it looks good and it plays smooth. So let's get out of this because I know you guys really don't want to see my video. Okay, now let's uh, try the voice remote. Silence of the Lambs on Netflix. Here's what I found. Okay, have to try it again. Silence of the Lambs on Netflix. Here's what I found. Okay, it's not showing that up. It was before. Believe me, it was. Try it one more time. Silence of the Lambs. Getting the Silence of the Lambs from Netflix. There you go. There you go. And you can also search anything. Uh... Search for Hatari. Okay, and there you see Hatari. And it's on Pluto TV, which happens to be a uh, free subscription. It doesn't cost a dime, and it's pretty good. So let's go back to the home screen.
Oop, wrong button. Sorry about that. Come on, home screen. Anytime you're ready. Or this one here. Alright, try the app to see what it says. There we go. There we go. Those are all my apps, by the way. So, yes, you can use a monitor, but like I said, uh, you need one with an HDMI input, two preferably, and you got to have one with speakers, and like I said, the uh, volume control won't work unless you want to spend a little more money and get a monitor you can sync a re uh, remote to. So, that's about it. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye.